Big Brother may not be watching you, but the big screen certainly is. Imagine this, a cinema experience where the movie is watching the viewer watching the movie. Sounds like a film plot in itself. Here, it's reality. This is the sweat measurement device. This is the um, heart rate monitor. Audience members are plugged in, their collective subconscious monitored. Without knowing it, they decide how the film pans out. This movie is called Many Worlds, and the twist is that there are lots of twists. And here's how it works. A third of the way into the movie, there's a junction point. The technology calculates how the audience is feeling and picks from two potential scenes. That happens again a few minutes later, the choice all based on the audience's reactions, and the movie could end in any one of four different ways. If we think they're not excited enough, we will actually switch into a more exciting version of the film. You say you will switch, but it's all automated. It's not, Absolutely. It's not human intervention. That's part of the idea, exactly. The computer itself has a simple intelligence that enables it to test the arousal and automatically switch into different edits of the film. This brain monitor can't actually read human thoughts. That would probably be a little too science fiction, but what it can do is monitor electrical signals being generated by the brain. Then the computer takes that information and it can work out just how tense the audience is feeling. And that has a direct influence on what they see up there on the big screen. For moviegoers, the technology could mean a whole host of new endings. One where in the future, the Titanic, the unsinkable, really is unsinkable. Harry Potter may not be the boy who lived after all. And Darth Vader didn't actually have a son. He was just bad through and through. The world famous happy ending could soon be down simply to the audience's mood on the day. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Plymouth, Southwest England.